Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll go through all the code blocks in the basics category. So let's start by creating a new project and I'll name it basic blocks. And let's click on create button to create our second new project. Now in this we'll look at this basic category. So let's start with this show number. So this show number code blocks basically shows just a number on the simulator. So let's say if I put this show number on the start and press the play button, you can see that it shows the number zero. If I let's say change this from number zero to number two, and if I run the program again, now it displays the number two on the simulator. So this is what show number does. Let's delete this and let's get the second code block, which is show LED. Now show LED as its name says just simply turns on or off the LED. So in this case I have turned on two LEDs and if I start the simulator you can see that those two LEDs are lighted up. If I let's say light up more LEDs by clicking on these boxes. If I run it again you can see those LEDs are also lighted up. Now let's look at our next code block which is show icon. Now again, uh, as the name suggests, it just displays the icon on the LED. Now here you can see that the heart button is there. So that's why our simulator is showing heart. Let's choose a different icon. In this case, I'll choose this one and let's run. And you can see the LEDs are again shown as the icon is displayed. Now our next code block is show string. So string in programming is basically just like sentence. So in this case, we want to show this hello string. And if I run this simulator, you can see that it shows that letter on our simulator. Now in our next code block, we are going to show clear screen. Now to actually show clear screen, we would first actually talk about maybe show arrow. So what show arrow does is it basically just simply shows the arrow. So if the arrow is north, it's going to show the north arrow. If it's northeast, it's going to show the northeast arrow. And now let's look at the clear screen as well. So what I'll do is I'll put the show arrow in forever code block. Now forever code blocks basically is the code block which executes again and again. So what it will do is it will show the northeast code block. It will then clear the screen. Let's look at another code block as well quickly, which is the pause millisecond. So after clearing the screen, it will pause for 100 millisecond, but rather than 100, maybe I'll choose one second. And maybe after that, I'll again put the show arrow code block, but this time, I'll choose west. So what is going to happen is this forever code block is going to run. It will then show northeast. It will clear the screen. It will wait for one second and then it will show the west arrow. So let's stop and run the code block. So you can see now it's waiting for one second and it, it will keep on running again and again. So just to clarify the clear screen basically turns off all the LEDs pause ms is milliseconds so it pauses our screen for a certain amount of time and the show arrow basically shows the arrow now let's delete all the code blocks and the next two code blocks are quite similar so we have on start and forever so on start is the code block which only executes once so that's the big difference between on start and forever so on start is a code block which executes only once at the start but the forever code block executes again and again so let's say there is four instructions in the forever code block after the fourth instruction it's again going to execute the first instruction so that's the big difference between on start and forever so in this tutorial we have looked at all of these code blocks in the next tutorial, we can look at some of the input code blocks and join me in the next tutorial.